in the absence of blood glucose uh, levels in the homeostatic range, you could die uh, if they get too low. If they get too high, it can lead to pathological damage on various tissues rapidly, including the vasculature of the heart and the brain. And so uh, the, the, both the absence of insulin, the abundance of insulin, but also what we can learn about being able to control levels of insulin in type one diabetes, and then seeing variable levels of glucose, we can learn a lot about the impacts, not just of insulin, but also the direct impacts of glucose. So I want to pivot for just a second and go kind of to administration of insulin. And if you were to take a bolus of insulin and you were to also eat a bunch of fat, would you store that fat? And I think what I'm kind of alluding to is like insulin is a storage hormone. So independent even of calories in that moment, can insulin drive in the storage of, of fat as well? This is a very interesting question with a lot of nuance. And I would argue it's about the relative amount. Okay. Okay.